Hello student, welcome to my channel. I hope that you have watched my previous video regarding the computer networks. Today we will continue with our topic about topologies. In our previous lecture, we have studied about few topologies, that is the point-to-point, -point, bus and ring topology. Today we will continue with the other topologies. Let's get started. So first, what is topology? Topology is the way in which the computers are being connected to one another and how the information is going to flow. What are the components that are useful? All the details we have studied in our earlier video. The few topologies were pending that, were, that we will continue today. So we will start with this star topology. What do you understand by the word star topology? Now in this topology, this topology is going to have the centralized system. Okay, there will be one centralized system. It is usually a switch and it will contain the multiple ports and that ports will be connected to each, this, each of the system. There will be no direct connection between the computer. The computers will be connected to one another via the switch. So you can say that switch is going to act as the central unit. So in the star topology there is a centralized system. Okay you can see over here there is a centralized system and all the other stations are being connected. What are the advantages of this star topology? First is there is no data collision. It is highly reliable because of the design and main thing is the fault detection. Fault can be easily detected. If the information is not going to flow from here, it can be easily detected. It is highly reliable because you everything has been reliable on this switch. And if one system is going to get fail, it will be easily recognized. And if one system fail, it is not going to affect all the other systems. And it is less expensive, okay? It is going to be a less expensive because the main cost of the system will be of the switch. What will be the disadvantage? The main disadvantage is if the switch get some kind of problem, if the switch get corrupted, then the system can be halted, okay? You do not require any extra hardware, but the hardware or the cost of this switch is high. And if you are going to go in detail regarding the star topology, okay, then number of cables that are required. From here you can see the number of cables. If there is a N components, there will be N cables. If there are N components, there will be N cables. Number of ports, every system is going to have one port. So it is one multiplied by N. It is reliable. Yes, it is reliable, but main thing is if the hub is going to get damaged, then the functioning will be stopped. It is reliable in the sense that if a one message will be sent from one system to another system, all the other system will not get to know the content. Okay, so that is we are categorizing it as a security issue. So it is much more secure and <laughs> the cost of the start topology or the cost to configure the star topology is very less. I hope you understood about the star topology. Just remember that in star topology there is a central hub, central switch that will be connected to all other stations and this phenomena you are going to remember that is the number of cables which is required, number of ports required, whether it is reliable, whether what is a uh, cost issue, what is the security issue. Next we'll study is about the tree topology. Okay, so in this tree topology, the components are being arranged or the nodes are arranged in the hierarchical structure, in the hierarchical tree-like structure by branching it into more complex network. So where it has been uh, suitable, this is suitable for the large network. It is highly scalable. You can go on adding the nodes. You can easily troubleshoot it. 
so for large enterprise for large network you can go for this free topology so lots of network vendors are going to support this kind of topology especially because uh, they want to scale their system and the main disadvantage is as you go on scaling the system the configuration become huge and it is uh, very much difficult and it requires large number of cable and it is much more costlier and the main disadvantage is if this switch itself get corrupted or if it itself get damaged then your whole network can come down like for example over here if you see if this main switch get halted then your tree topology will fail so this this is the main backbone of your tree topology so if the backbone fails your network can fail so depending upon the requirement they will design their system in such a manner that if they are going to use this free topology then there should not be any kind of uh, problem or the maintenance they will keep on maintaining such kind of hub they will go on maintaining the switch or routers next very important topology is the mesh topology now in this mesh topology every component are connected okay so network administrator can set up multiple path to connect two or more system mesh topology is of two type that is a full mesh and the partial mesh in the full mesh each system remained connected to other system within the network each system is connected to all the other system in the partial mesh at least two system will be connected so what is the main advantage of this mesh topology that if this is, uh, if the single device is going to get failed it will not impact the whole network it is much more robust it is much more strong um, and if any of the wiring fails with the other system it is the other system will go on working it is very easy to identify the fault so all these are the advantages of the mesh topology and um, this advantage you can say is the cost because the number of cable is going to increase the number of ports is going to increase the maintenance is high okay there can be a problem of redundant connection so that is about the mesh topology the best example of mesh topology is about the internet if you are going to see the detail for the mesh topology number of cables that are required for the mesh topology is n multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2 so for the mesh topology the total number of cables because if the uh, network is small okay you can just count that uh, okay this much number but what if the network grows if there are hundred thousand components then how you are going to calculate the number of cables so for there is a formula that is n c2 so it is n multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2 number of ports which is required okay from the design you can see for example over here you are going to have the six you are going to have six computer so number of ports for this for example this is five for this is five for this is five so you can say that if there is a six component then everyone require five port and total number of component or the total number of pc so the formula will go as n minus 1 multiply by n number of ports which is required reliability obviously it is highly reliable because if any one of the system is going to get fail it is not going to affect other the cost is very high because the number of cables which is required number of ports required for the establishing the system so the cost will also increase and secure yes is this highly secure system because the data will move only to the concerned element so it is highly secure so in today's lecture we have studied about so far we have studied about star topology we have studied about tree topology and the mesh topology next is the hybrid okay from the name itself you can understand that the hybrid topology is the mixture of 
any two of the topology depending upon the need of the organization depending upon the experience whatever best the network admin uh, network engineer will think for the organization it is highly flexible okay and depending upon the requirement they can take any of the topology and they will just connect it via the system so this is an example of the hybrid topology what is the advantage of this kind of topology it is flexible okay it is uh, you can um, uh, go on increasing the element okay you can say the comp uh, pc okay the speed is much more faster and it is highly customizable the main thing about this hybrid top topology is it can make your system much more complicated if you go on adding the system if you go on adding the different kind of topology and main also is the it is more expensive and it requires the changing of the hardware so these are the few points to remember you just have to first uh, think about how the topology is going to work then you are going to think about what will be the advantages and the disadvantages it will uh, if you just understand the basic concept about the topology about how the topology is going to work for each and every you can just figure out the advantages and disadvantages so so far we have studied about the star tree mesh and hybrid so i hope that you have understood my lecture thank you for watching the lecture kindly like share and subscribe to my channel thank you